Hello paper crafters, this is Jane Fires, Fun Stamper's Journey Independent Coach number 151. And today I'm doing a video again showing you our DIY hoops. Now I did a card the other day and that was this one, the Christmas one, and I used the smallest hoop. And remember there are six hoops here. There are two small, two medium, and two of the larger. Today what we're going to do is use the larger ones. So the DIY hoop is something brand new. It's in our big catalog. All right. It's something that you can have a lot of fun with. Now, the hoops are real wood. So you can see they're thin, but it is real wood that you're going to be working with. What I did today was I took our largest cutting circle from the circle around die set. And this is our new die set. It also has the stitch lines, but I just used the largest die to cut out my circle. The other die that I used today is the Cottage Bloom die set. And I used everything but the little center because I'm going to use a pearl instead for the center on this one. The stamp set that I'm using is inside out. I'm doing a birthday card. And of course, as you can see from the stamp set itself, I've taken out happy birthday and the inside words. But you can use this stamp set for almost anything. Thinking of you, graduation, thanks, sympathy. It's just got a whole bunch of different uses that you can use this for. So this is the stamp set that we're using. This is the card that we're doing today. Now our hoop, of course, is the largest hoop. So I've made my card six by six. All right, so I've cut my cardstock, which is 12 by 12, in half. I can get two cards out of one of the pieces. One of the other papers that we're using today, or cardstock, I mean, will be our white for the inside. This is the rustic rose that we're using for our base card. All right, so what I did is I cut my 12 by 12, as I said, to 6 by 12. And now I'm laying it on my scoreboard. And remember, my scoreboard comes with this plate. And I'm going to need this plate for later because being this is a 6x6 six six card, I need to go over here and find my envelope size for the 6x6. Six six, and I'll need to make my envelope. So this is what I need to do my envelope with. So I'm going to lay that aside, taking my 6x12 six piece of cardstock, and I am scoring it right at 6. Then I'm folding it one way and then the other, lining my left corner up tight, up tight to the top and to the side, holding my right side down and running my scoreboard over it, my score tool. So there's my base. Now I'm ready to go. The paper that I used comes out of the Good Life Prints paper pack here. And this is the one that I've chosen to use with the littler flowers on it. Because my little flowers here will match my base card, which is Rustic Rose, which is one of our new colors. So this is the one that I use, Good Life Prints. So what I do with this particular one is I take my base card, my circle, and I decide where exactly I want my circle to go. Okay, I want it about right there. So what I'm going to do is turn it over. And with this project and with my hoops, I like to use our Journey Craft Glue because it holds very well and it will allow me to move my circle a little bit. My craft glue will dry clear. So get my circle on first. Okay, I think that looks good right there. Then take my hoop, turn it over, and on the back of my complete hoop, I want to put it up at the top where it looks like the little hook, and all the way around the base. Then lay it over top of my circle. And I hold it for a minute once I have it placed where I want it so that I know it's going to stay right there. 
and if there's any glue that comes out that seeps out from underneath it will dry clear or you can wipe it off. Now on this one I don't have any that's seeping out so I'm okay on there. Okay so let's lay that aside for a minute to dry and then the flour that I used here I've already die cut it using our new Platinum 6 machine and I've also already put on it my uh, glue dots because I can leave my paper on it. So my very first one, my biggest one, I'm going to take, take off my paper and lay it in the center of my card. And it's in the center of my circle here. And press it down. Now my next one, before I take my paper off, I'm going to take my crease tool and I'm just going to go over towards the end of my petals very lightly and very carefully so I don't tear them. And then I will take off the back paper of my glue dot and put it so that it lines up in between my bigger one and press it down. Take my next one and do the same with it. Just the tips a little bit just to give them a little bit of form. Take it and do the same with it in the center. And press it down. I have one more little petal to do and this is my little tiniest one. So of course I've got to be very, very careful on how I do this. Peel my backing off and line it up in the center. And there's my flower. Now the other thing that I'm using today is our brand new Cottage Pearls is what they're called. And there are three different colors here and I like this little pink color. So I'm taking my bloom tool because it's the easiest way to get one putting it in the center where I want it and then pressing down. So now I have my pearl on. Then I need to do my words and the words that I'm going to do will be happy birthday okay okay so what I'm doing now is taking my black uh, licorice ink and stamping on a piece of white happy birthday. Then I'm going to take my pro detailed scissors and cut out happy birthday. You can never have enough birthday cards so this is one way to make two of them by using both of the big hoops. Now you could also of course make Happy birthday using the medium or the small hoops if you wanted to. Okay, and then the next thing you have to decide is where on your card you want your happy birthday to go. I think I want my happy birthday about right there. So what I'm going to do is on the back of my happy birthday and both ends I am going to put a glue, a uh, foam square, and in this case, I am using the smallest ones. Got to make sure though I get it where I want it. And then I'm also going to put just a little bit of glue on my hoop because then I know for sure this is going to stick. And the reason I'm using the small glue dot is because I need them to be even with my. Um, hoop and because my hoop is made of wood it's a little bit thicker so what I'm going to do is put happy birthday right there and then it's all the same across so there's the front of my card finished now what I'm doing is I'm going to take rustic rose which is one of our new colors in our new ink pad and with it because I want to give a little bit of color because the card inside is six by six just about 
So I'm going to go ahead and do the edges with this. Now you can see that on this one, I also used our corner punch. And this is our punch, the corner or the notch. And I use the corner punch. So I've rounded all three of my corners. So now I'm taking my rose, rustic rose, and I'm just going over it a little bit. And yes, I'm leaning in on my cardstock some because I want to give it some color. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this, but it just adds a little something to your card on the inside. Now, as I've said before, when I do my cards and I do words, I usually um, do my words in black, and that way I know that everybody can read them and see them. Now this piece here gives you enough room if you also want to write a personal note. So now on the inside, what I'm doing is I am taking my happy birthday and I am putting it on with my inside words, inking both of them up with the black licorice and putting them on the inside piece. So now I have happy birthday, wishing you a day full of joy and a year filled with smiles. So now with this one, I'm going to use our tape runner. And remember when you use our tape runner, the little rough edges are on the top. And then when you put it down, go either to the right or to the left. Because our tape runners have little lines. They're like small little um, lines all the way across. And they're not... Uh, circles or dots or anything. So that's why you do that because then you get an even tear and it comes off without a problem. So open up my card, center my piece inside, and my piece of course is five and three-fourths by five and three-fourths for my six-inch squared card. And there it is. Now all I have to do is make my envelope. Now, I will tell you this, that I have mailed one of these, and I did find that, yes, it did cost me more. Not necessarily because of the hoop, but because of the size of the card. It's not a standard size. So that is one thing, if you mail the card, you're going to want to remember, that it will cost you more than our normal postage. So that's our card with our largest hoop. We have one more hoop size to go, and that's medium. We will be doing that one next. I hope you have a great and blessed day. If you have any questions, you can contact me at serif, S like in Sam, E-R-I-F-1, at AOL.com.